Hey everybody, this is Griffin McElroy for Polygon.com with a quick guide on how to take down Amygdala, a boss you will face in the Nightmare Frontier area of Bloodborne. Uh, Amygdala is not especially tough. Uh, there, there aren't that many attacks that Amygdala does, so it's kind of a predictable boss fight. The first is a uh, eyeball laser that uh, they will shoot out uh, that will trace a line along the ground and then explode. Uh, just a second or so after. You want to stay clear of that explosion. The good news is, uh, if you get close enough, you will never see that attack again, uh, because Amygdala will only use one or two uh, other attacks when you're up in range. So the first that you see here is this uh, jumping in the air. If Amygdala lands on top of you, obviously that's going to hurt quite a bit. Uh, the other attack is just sort of a general swipe, which is pretty easy to avoid. Uh, if you stay behind Amygdala, uh, closer to the tail area, you are going to avoid basically all of those swiping attacks. There's one thrash that Amygdala does uh, kind of rarely. Um, you want to make sure to dodge if you see that one coming, uh, because you will take a hit. Here, one of my notes got rated fine. Great news. Uh, you want to attack the feet and not the tail uh, in this fight for two reasons. First of all, the tail is really heavily armored. Uh, you can see it's covered in that sort of xenomorph plating. Uh, don't attack the tail because you're not going to do a ton of damage here. You see me doing 12 damage per hit, which is pretty pathetic. Uh, you want to focus on the legs, uh, which are a little bit more vulnerable. Uh, another reason to attack the legs is you can uh, drop Amygdala's head down a little bit. Uh, this is not a strategy that I used in this video because the Tonitrus doesn't have uh, the range that I needed to attack the head, but if you're using a larger weapon like Ludwig's Blade or uh, or uh, the Hunter Axe or anything with a large overhead swipe, um, you can attack Amygdala's head whenever you drop it down. Uh, it seems like she goes down uh, whenever she rears up one of her legs after you've gotten a lot of uh, burst damage off on one of them. Uh, and that will drop her head down a little bit. And then occasionally, if you just do a lot of damage to her, she will start to sort of lean over. If you're using a big enough weapon, you might just be able to get at her no matter what. But uh, I didn't necessarily use that strategy. You can do a lot more damage to her head in a single hit, but you can do just fine damage against her legs too. And as long as you're careful uh, of her jumping attack and the stomps that she'll do from time to time, uh, which are pretty easy to avoid, which you might not believe because I take so many hits from them because I was being very careless. Uh, th this, this fight shouldn't be too terribly difficult for you. There, that's uh, the, the rearing up of the leg animation, uh, and that's a good time to get some extra damage on her because she's not gonna attack you while she's reared up like that. Uh, that's about it to this fight. Just remember to stay close. I would say her main damage dealer is this eyeball laser, uh, and that can be bad news. Also, that uh, drop attack where she rears back and slams both of her hands down to the ground, that can do a ton of damage too, but she's not gonna use that on you if you stay close enough. Uh, if you can get her to do that attack, her head is vulnerable. So there you see, uh, after some of her attacks, her head is just very vulnerable. Honestly, I could have done a better job during this fight of attacking it, uh, because she does bring it down basically to the ground uh, at, at some point. But uh, yeah, that's about it for Amygdala. Just remember, attack the legs, not the tail. Uh, try and stay super close and, and dodge her stomps and jump attacks, uh, both of which are fairly slow. And uh, you should be able to get through this one fairly quickly. That's it for Amygdala, uh, pretty easy boss fight. Uh, thank you all very, very much for watching. For completing this, you get the Ailing Lauren Chalice, which opens up a new Chalice dungeon for you. Uh, that's it for this video, though. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, good luck.